Today's evening devotional. Four boys in Babylon. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. Daniel chapter 1 verse 17. Daniel and his companions enjoyed the benefits of correct training and education in early life, but these advantages alone would not have made them what they were. The time came when they must act for themselves when their future depended upon their own course. Then they decided to be true to the lessons given them in childhood. What a life work was that of these noble Hebrews. As they bade farewell to their childhood home, how little did they dream of their high destiny. Faithful and steadfast, they yielded themselves to the divine guiding, so that through them God could fulfill his purpose. Daniel and his companions in Babylon were, in their youth, apparently more favored of fortune than was Joseph in the earlier years of his life in Egypt, yet they were subjected to tests of character scarcely less severe. From the comparative simplicity of their Judean home these youth of royal line were transported to the most magnificent of cities, to the court of its greatest monarch, and were singled out to be trained for the king's special service. Strong were the temptations surrounding them in that corrupt and luxurious court. The direction that their food should be supplied from the royal table was an expression both of the king's favor and of his solicitude for their welfare. But a portion having been offered to idols, the food from the king's table was consecrated to idolatry, and in partaking of the king's bounty these youth would be regarded as uniting in his homage to false gods. The history of Daniel and his youthful companions has been recorded on the pages of the inspired word for the benefit of the youth of all succeeding ages. Through the record of their fidelity to the principles of temperance, God is speaking today to young men and young women, bidding them gather up the precious rays of light he has given on the subject of Christian temperance, and place themselves in right relation to the laws of health.